is a hollow air chamber inside the upper jawbone or maxilla, beneath the cheekbones. When upper teeth are lost, the tooth sockets fill in with bone over a few months' time. However, the bone soon begins to dissolve or resorb as the floor of the sinus remodels downward. Unless the lost bone is replaced, dental implants are not an option because there is no bone left to stabilize them. Fortunately, common surgical techniques are available to replace the missing bone, making dental implants an option once again. There are two common methods for elevating the floor of the sinus. In the lateral wall approach, a soft tissue flap is raised and a small oval-shaped piece of bone is removed to gain access to the sinus. Beneath the bone lies a delicate membrane and care is taken to avoid perforating it. Using special tools, the membrane is pushed back and powdered bone graft materials are inserted. Dental implants are often placed simultaneously through separate openings in the bottom of the sinus floor. The implants will generally not be restored with crowns for several months while the graft heals and integrates. The oval-shaped bone is repositioned over the access portal and the surgical access flap is closed. The Summers technique for grafting the sinus floor is commonly performed when less bone volume needs to be regained. Here just the tips of the dental implants would be uncovered and more bone is present in the sinus floor to stabilize the implants. In this technique, a hole or osteotomy is made into the porous bone for each dental implant to be placed, stopping short of the hard cortical bone of the sinus floor. An osteotome is used to gently tap up the remaining thin shell of the sinus floor, and powdered bone graft material is pushed up into the sinus from below through the osteotomies. Dental implants are inserted behind the graft materials. After several months, they'll be ready to restore.